Well, all your troubles are over. Check out FIFAUltimateTeamCoins.com is the discount code M for 5% off. Yay! Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another review. Well, I'm sure you've been redirected to this from the David De Gea review. Basically, every hour or so, I'll be uploading a review on a team of the season. Next one is in a team of the season, Santi Cazorla. And trust me, you want to see him. Oh my god, the goals I scored. But anyway, just a quick... Um, holla to my boy the invader nine he's currently a really s sick streamer who's uploading to youtube probably in the next couple of days so if you can give him a follow and a sub to his channel link down below in the description i'll really appreciate it but anyways let's get into this review here is his in-game stats and as you can see look at his positioning is 99 finishing 99 all i can see is a 90s he's just amazing you know certain things you know me personally i don't look at in-game stats i never do because it's always left and right, you know what I mean? Like, personally, you can see someone with 90, oh, that guy has 90 pace, I'm gonna buy him, you buy him. He runs like he's on 50 pace. But I like to test them in the review and tell you truthfully what I think about this player now. Diego Costa, the first thing I would have uh, thought of is his finishing, of course, I'm sure a lot of you um, thought that way about Diego Costa, kind of a given, right? But Diego Costa, his heading as well, is just out of this world, power headers, um, his, his balance, his jumping, everything from that category is just out of this world. When he enters that box, that's it. You are done, guys. You are over. He is going to score 9 times out of 10. You know what? 9.5 out of 10. He's just crazy in that box. You know, even though his pace and uh, dribbling is just insane uh, on the card, but I think his dribbling is a bit of a lie, to be honest. When I, I could not dribble with him personally. When I do these reviews, remember, I'm talking about me. Sometimes the card might be a little bit, you know, some people say some cards are a bit faulty or it's, sometimes the player is a bit sluggish. It's true because sometimes I've bought a player and he's just been absolutely fantastic and then I've sold him later on, bought him back and he's been absolutely awful. But uh, Diego Costa, the only con I really didn't like about him was his dribbling. Like, in tight spaces, obviously his dribbling is not the best. And uh, when I have a little bit of space, my only option is to just push the ball and run meaning using my pace but close control dribbling even though he has in the high 80s um, dribbling i did not like it i just did not feel like he was uh it felt like his dribbling honestly was a, a 75 a 75 74 something like that which was a bit disappointing because had his dribbling been um on par he would have been i think the best bpl striker in the game alongside maybe aguero i'm not too sure i haven't really used aguero yet but uh, nevertheless inside that box as you can see there what a fantastic turn on the volley that was from uh, costa as you can see his volleys are unbelievable out of this world and um if you can link him up with a good center midfielder it's just perfect those passes to him and him burying it that's all you need he is just one of the best players i've used so far on team of the season i've used around 12 so far and I'm going to try and review as many as I can. Here is pros and cons. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you can smash 750 likes for the next one, that'll be awesome. And have a wonderful day, guys, and good luck in your packs.